Have you ever found yourself second guessing if the dynamics in your friendship have shifted, but you're not too sure? Maybe your friend has started flirting with you, but you don't really know if she's flirting with you or if she's just being extra nice because you've never noticed it before. Or maybe you are sadly oblivious to her hitting on you and just presume because you are older than her that she couldn't possibly ever be flirting with you. I mean, why would she? You're an older man, so that rules you out, doesn't it? Mm -mm -mm, not at all. You need to remember that women love older men for several reasons. So please don't go around beating yourself up because you are in a different age bracket. So instead of cancelling yourself out of the game before the whistle has even blown, settle down and listen to the coach. When a woman is hitting on you, she will do one of the following things to get noticed by you. So are you ready? Let's pay attention and start ticking off the list as we go along because maybe she's been hitting on you for so long and sadly you've not even noticed this. So let's dive in deep, like and subscribe. Wear red. For centuries past and most probably for centuries to come, the colour red will always be associated with sexuality and lust. It's something that is ingrained in almost every romantic comedy novel and Hollywood movie. The woman puts on a sexy red dress and all of a sudden the guy cannot take his eyes off of her. Well, this is also something that women will do in real life too. Wearing the colour red can be subtle like wearing red lipstick or having red nail varnish on or it could be as bold as that red dress and red heels. When a woman is trying to get a man's attention, she knows that the colour red to him is like a red flag to a bull. Smell nice. Our sense of smell is very important in our everyday lives. If we smell food that does not agree with us, then our taste buds instantly dislike it and we don't want to eat it. Now, this is why women will make sure that the perfume they are using smells sweet and sexy at the same time when they are trying to hit on older men. Because when you smell nice, people will be able to take a whiff of what you have sprayed before they even look at you. And if they have smelt something sexy or sweet on you, then subconsciously a person decides if you are attractive before they even look at you. Now the good thing about our sense of smell is that it is often linked to memories and emotions too. So once the brain has linked your scent of a good memory the two of you share, every time you smell something similar, your brain will start producing happy hormones and replaying good memories that the two of you share together. Confidence Older men love a confident woman who knows what she wants and isn't afraid to go and get it. So even if they don't feel confident, a lot of women will pretend to be confident through their body language, their posture and their gestures in hopes that it will capture your attention. Now, the more you pretend to be confident, the more your mind starts to believe it until you actually feel confident in real time. A confident woman will walk with her shoulders back, her head up, making eye contact with all of those that make contact with her. Maturity When a woman is trying to hit on an older guy, she will go out of her way to show her level of maturity in hopes that he will see it and want to date her. Now, a lot of younger women fear that older men won't like them if they appear too mature for their age because no guy wants to feel like he's babysitting his partner, right? So she will over-exaggerate her maturity so that it screams, I mature at him. And if she feels like he understands her level of maturity and it matches his or is above another younger woman, then she has a better chance of him flirting back and wanting to date her. Speaking of flirting, let's talk about flirting. Women flirt in all kinds of different ways, so let's try to break it down for you. Some women will openly flirt with compliments and all of those girly gestures that you see in the cheesy romantic movies. She will compliment your looks, compliment your muscles, your personality, anything that she thinks is attractive, she will compliment you on. So an example of this could be, oh my gosh, your arms are huge, I love them. Some women flirt more subtly, which is down to their confidence level. So she will often bat her lashes and <laughs> giggle a few times, acting coy because we all know guys love a shy woman. Although women flirt in different ways, it will be a bit obvious that she's flirting, so don't stress too much about trying to identify it. Let's talk about touching. 
A lot of younger women will try to hit on you in little ways that can be masked by other things, in case the feeling isn't mutual and then she has that escape route to back her up. So she will find a way to touch you when she's around you. She will sit beside you whenever the opportunity presents itself and uses this close proximity to reach her hand out and touch your arm from time to time. This alerts your subconscious that she's very close and by touching you, she is kind of closing that gap between the two of you, building a bridge for you to cross. Acknowledge. When a woman is trying to hit on you, she will first start by addressing the elephant in the room, the age gap. Now, she will do this to make you aware that she acknowledges the age difference, but also to let you know that this is not a concern for her. Because let's be real, if it was a concern, well, she just wouldn't bother trying to hit on you or talking to you at all in some cases. So by acknowledging the age gap, she hopes to alleviate your worries in regards to this and settle any overthinking that may occur. Because could you imagine how awkward and on edge you both would feel if you kind of just skated over the subject too afraid to ever bring it up? Advice. A woman will come to you for advice when she is trying to hit on you because this is an easy way to start a conversation. Asking for help is a big thing for a lot of people. So when she makes the effort to come to you and ask what she should do in a situation, remember, this is a big deal for her. Now, not only is she saying that she values your opinion and respects your advice, but subconsciously she acknowledges the age gap and respects it too. It's the age gap in your years of experience that gives her the feeling of security to ask for your advice because the advice you give her will stem from your own experiences and lessons you have learnt, not from what you've read online. Simply knowing the ways a woman will try to hit on you should make the process a lot smoother for the both of you. For you, you will be able to spot the signs early on and flirt back or let her know that you don't feel the same if that's the case. And for her, she won't feel frustrated that you're not getting the hints. Sometimes women can feel like they are wasting their time because some men are oblivious of the hints and flirting techniques being used on them, so they often give up and move on. But hopefully, with now having these techniques under your belt, you will be able to notice when she's flirting with you. And we know and we understand that the dating scene can be intimidating for older guys, so being able to tell if a woman is hitting on you should give you the confidence boost that you need to make a move, like a jump start before a big race. Now, of course, each woman is different, so the way one may hit on you may be very different to another. But these are basic techniques used across the board, kind of like a skeleton, and every woman will add her own limbs and muscles to the skeleton to create a body that's unique to them. Ladies, we're asking you to pay attention to these signs as well and techniques to help us and the guys watching by letting us know if there are any other techniques you have used. Now, the more information we have that we can share with our older guys, then realistically, the better it is for us ladies when it comes to dating. Because imagine how much easier it is to build a house when you have the correct supplies and tools. So please leave us a comment below with your own techniques and let's get this list growing. And of course, everyone, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel too so that you never miss another tip and tricks video again.